Today we're going to do an unboxing and testing of cat eyes or halos for your headlights in your car or driving lights. So, these are supposed to be RGB that are remote controlled so you can change the colors from a distance. Got some double back tape to adhere them to the inside of your headlights. And apparently they're from Gita Motor. So, let's see what we got and let's see how they work. Now cutting through the wires. Hmm. And these are the 70 millimeter 15 SMD models. There's your four pigtails. There's your adapter for power. Of course, it probably comes with some little instructions. Working temperature is 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. It says output drain. It uses a CMOS. It runs a total of 2 amps. 12 volt DC. And it gives you the product size, except they spell that wrong. <laughs> All right. And apparently, your colors. You have static red, orange, dark yellow, yellow, straw yellow, green, pea green, cayenne, light blue, and sky blue. Uh, it says then you have also pink, purple, brown dark blue and regular blue. Brown, huh? Uh, never connect to a 24 volts or AC of 220. That's, that's good to know. It's pretty obvious since it says it also on. Never connect wires directly to anything in case it was short, so you probably need a fuse is what they're talking about. Make sure you connect them in the correct polarity the product has a one year warranty, except if they're damaged by you. Pretty typical. The wires are somewhat pre stripped. I do have a 12 volt power supply sitting right here, so we can uh, test these out. see any markings to tell me which way they go in on that one let's take this one out and check as well but on here you have an arrow there's nothing on the heat shrink but generally this outer one with the very small dots is your hot. So we're going to put those on the side with the arrow. If you do anything with RGB LEDs and you buy them especially from China, this would look like a very familiar remote with your on-off, your colors, your pattern selections. 
piece of plastic for the battery isolation and it even comes with a protective cover. So, <clears throat> let's uh, see if they work. I'm sure it's going to swap out the camera if they're uh, bright or in direct path. Let's find out. Hmm, one's red, one's blue. Apparently, this one is backwards of the other one. So on this one, the fat stripes are on the side of the power, not the thin stripes. So you probably have to check polarity if you buy these. These were purchased off of eBay. Oh, I don't see a brown. which I've truthfully never seen in an LED RGB. And there's white. So, this is your rings around your modern car headlights. We'll uh, reduce some of the lighting. Oh, what the hell, let's plug all four of them in. We'll see if these are backwards or forward polarity. See if they uh, put them all the same. So apparently just one of these, they stuck the cable in opposite of the others. We'll just give you some power ratings. At 12 and a half volts, or let's just do it for a car, which is generally about 13 and a half to 14 while running. So I'm going to set it for 13.5. In red, it's pulling about 3800 milliamps. Green. You got 0.4 amp, blue about 0.4, white is pulling 0.9 amps, so all four on white at 13.5 volt are pulling almost a full amp for you. The other colors should definitely be less than that, but they're all going to be right around 0.4 to 0.6, although that bright yellow was pushing 0.7 amp. And on this mode, when it goes to white, it spikes at almost 1.2 amps. So, uh, probably run a 3 amp fuse on these in your car. Maybe a 5 at the most, since these are supposed to be for automotive applications. I probably wouldn't use them in a car that doesn't have accessible headlights or running lights. Uh, only because these are cheap. They are Chinese. I do use similar things for lighted cup holders uh, in cars. If you get a uh, limousine, these do come in handy for putting underneath a piece of clear acrylic. Uh, you can use them for multiple things. You can use them in your house. They actually do produce a lot of light. Um, they're great if you can diffuse them. So, 
these were about seven dollars for the what you see here plus the packaging but anyhow we'll find some use for them at some point use them and see how long they last so as far as a purchase as long as you don't have sealed headlights you should be good or sealed running lights so till the next one quick addendum here it is in full strobe which is actually flashing through red green blue and white at a rapid speed also it's in the full dark to get a better idea of the color there is a smooth strobe a pulsating change and then another fast strobe you're going to control the speed by the buttons on the controller but this way it gives you a better idea in pure darkness how good the colors are they do look visually good so and they've been on for a few minutes they are putting out a little bit of heat put them on the biggest power draw probably won't have to heat sink them unless you had them as like running light because you can feel the heat and right where the wires are soldered in right there is about the hottest spot on this ring it's just something to be aware of other than that we'll see how they go when they get put into a project when they get put into a project we'll have a future video